Hey mamas, it's me, Gloria, from LookingMa.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make these two awesome bracelets. The first is going to be this leather knot design, and then the second is going to be the simple chain. So I don't know if you guys are ready, but I'm ready. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing first, you're going to measure off some leather. I'm cutting six pieces here. And then we're going to fold the pieces. You want to iron them down and then add a little glue just to hold them together. Once you have all your pieces ironed and uh, glued, you want to go ahead and stack them together and then place something a little heavy on top so that they'll uh, keep their shape. Now I'm going to use this chain I bought from uh, Hobby Lobby. We're going to measure off a piece and then we're going to use some pliers to pry or loose the link. All of the supplies here I use are from Hobby Lobby and places like Lowe's. Um, I get these rings from Hobby Lobby. You can play around with those. And the hooks I got actually got from Lowe's. The leather I got from Hobby Lobby as well. Here, you're going to go ahead and um, fix one of the ends of your leather pieces. And then you're going to just make knots or braids or whatever you see fit, however you, how you, however you want to lay it out. Um, and then this is the most important part, the way you finish the ends. You're going to line up all your pieces, add a little glue, and then take the longest piece and overlap. Just like that. So here I try adding the bead, but you can kind of play around with it, see what you like. I'm just laying out all of my pieces, you know. Um, I want to play around with it, get it just the way you like it, and then we'll start putting things together. Okay, so once you figured it out, we're going to take some other chain and we're going to use these as jump rings. Jump rings are little connects in between like uh, different types of materials you're using like the hook or either chain. Um, so we're going to use these as jump rings. All you have to do is hook one side and then whatever you're attaching it to into the ring and take a plier and close it up. Okay, so as I was putting this together, I kind of got this idea. Well, you don't even have to add the knot, um, even though I am later. Um, this bracelet is actually fun itself. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the piece by itself and then the piece with the knot. Okay, so back to the knot. What I decided is uh, to use this wire to wrap the ends instead of using the bead. Now it's totally up to you. You can use a bead, you can use a, a tassel cap, you know, whatever you see fit. But I'm going to use this wire since I don't have a tassel cap right now. Um, as you guys can see, I'm just wrapping it around the ends. And the way I'm going to finish this, I'm going to take that loose end and wrap it through, pull it nice and tight. And then I'll cut off the end and then make a little loop that way like the end won't scratch you. Make sure that you flatten out uh, your wire wrap so it's not lumpy and bumpy and then squeeze the ends together to get rid of the spaces in between. Here I am cutting the end and I'm just going to twirl that little end into a curl so the loose end doesn't stick you and press it flat. And there you go. Now I'm going to use these jump rings to finish it off and to connect it to our chain. Um, because we made those little loops at the end of the leather, you could just slide the jump ring through. And then you go ahead and close it up. And that's pretty much it. Here 
Here I'm going to go ahead and use my jump rings to connect the chain to the leather knots and there's our bracelet. Now you guys know that stacking is like a really big trend now. So you can take these pieces and stack them together with other straps or uh, beaded pieces you have and make a complete look. I hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching you guys.